But I mean, as far as visual mm -hmm. and then hearing, mm -hmm. right I mean, it's, it's as good as you get, yeah. you know? Everything is Duval based. The logo's Duval, the guys are from Duval, the venue's Duval, we printed in Duval. Uh, Jacksonville, Florida is where I'm from. It's not Duval standard. Let's go. Wait, Yeah, young Quince. 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 And uh, I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> I play guitar on the um, album. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. I'm from Duval. I play trumpet. And uh, yeah. This is done in Duval. This is done in Duval right. by Duval. Well, I knew that Paul, and, and mm -hmm. Paul was very clear at that point. Mm -hmm. As we were working through, he was like, man, this is going to be great. And the artwork was done. Yep. The mix and master right. was done. Yep. The production right. was done. Right. Everything, Everything Duval. was done. Because I think you guys just wanted it done right. Oh, they leave the city. Oh, you can't do it. It's like, why though? Yeah. Do well, like, it's one of the reasons why I stayed here. I mean, if Jameson can attest to that, on us leaving FSU, I said, man, I want to come back home and make a scene. So, mm -hmm. I mean, when he hit me up about it, I was like, yep, yeah, I do. It's massive. Everything is based in Jacksonville, pretty much, to prove the point that you don't have to go to LA and New York to make it. Like, so you can do it in your hometown as long as you get the right team together. We somehow fit 24 people together to make this happen. Yeah. You guys mm -hmm. came in with a clear vision yeah, of yeah, what, yeah. who you are. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like listening to you guys is kind of like, oh, this is a whole new yeah, thing. Mm -hmm. Two and a half years, we're going to stop. Good work. Eventually we're going to do an original project. Yeah. And in October, <laughs> in the, uh, April, we're doing an original project. And we're going to do it by the end of the year. And it's like, all right. Get it done. And people all gigs. You guys have originals? Of like, yes we do. We just don't have anything kind of, we don't have anything to show you yet. Mm -hmm. And this was like, yeah. you know, we, we want to come out swinging. We put this together in less than two months. Oh that's so a whole as far as like yeah, the that's a whole yeah, we got no tape for that. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what I was getting myself into. All of that came together right there at Paul's house, bro. Mm -hmm. Right there. And like the way it just all happened. Um, around that time, it was like fall semester, yeah. second year, and it was just like a little stressful having to do all the schoolwork and having to do this outside of school. Mm -hmm. But like, honestly, it was very rewarding because while we're in school, they're teaching you to study this music that other people created. Mm -hmm. But when we created our own stuff, and we got to listen back, like the gratification mm -hmm. that you get from knowing that you did some raw yeah. 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 Want to have a live recording of the band playing and the audience around, yeah. in ears, hearing and experiencing everything that's happening at the moment. Mm -hmm. Then you coming in with the idea that you had, right. you can't manufacture that stuff. Sure. It just, it just, it's got to happen. You know when you play with Let's Ride, man. Oof. It should be like, oof, sweet. Yeah. Oh, let me get a musical outlet. That's yes. the whole concept of the gig is there's no you never have to play anything exactly like you did the time before and free space you don't know, so really get that much free space in a lot of places so to be able to create freely it extends your vocabulary as a musician uh, beyond just your instrument on different instruments and that really helped bro like for real but the thing for me it's like the music has always been there y'all know the caliber of musicians we got is incredible talent love but like the biggest thing for me is I've personally I've never been part of a band where the love not only for the music but for the people mm -hmm. the people we're affecting the people we're reaching out to is that doesn't happen any like just anywhere right. yeah. And that is what has kept us together. And you know, this this really does feel like a family. Why don't we have a you know start the song, finish the song? But whatever happens in between is up to you. That's what Dookie was saying. He's gonna talk about that in the documentary when you see the full thing. That he loved about this band is that there's no there's you no know, start to finish. Between that, between those lines, it's whatever you feel. Will was like, yo, my boy Doogie. 
We were like, wow, we probably can't get Doogie to do this. Literally everyone we was probably like, can't nah, get Doogie to do this, yo. Nah, when I knew what it was, when I knew what it was, bro, like, I was like, you know what? He knew I was game before he even told y'all about it, because he know me. You know what I'm saying? He's like, man, this is, this is what he was in high school, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loved Doogie, you know what I'm saying? And I've never done this. And we believe it. But just the, the concept, the whole, just the freedom, bro. You just knew you would. This is stuff like, that we listen to. I get to do what I want to do. Bro, I get to come in and do what I want to do. In the house, bro. In the room, we listen to this. In the house, we listen to this. In the car. This is what, like, see, I knew it would be game just off of the strength that, like, I mean, this is stuff that, the type of music that we created was the stuff that we already, like, naturally inside of us. You know what I'm saying? We listen to this type of music all the time, not thinking like years later we'll be playing on the album together, actually. Right. But not only together, but like in that lane. You know, we were just subliminally watching it on YouTube all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Watching Tiny Bass and watching yeah. all these different snarky snarky yeah, tunes and Lettuce. not even lettuce, you know what I'm saying? Not even oh, yeah. not even knowing that like and, and back then I didn't even understand, you know what I'm saying? My understanding was so little. I didn't even think about playing percussion. I wasn't listening to it for percussion parts. I was just listening to it to absorb the music. But it felt, when I started playing the percussion on the stuff, it felt natural. You know what I'm saying? It was just natural. It was just something that already just spewed out of me. You know so without even being a percussionist, but I am, you know. Like, you are now. I you are now, bro. <laughs>
So how did that come to be pretty much? How did, what is the Dragon Factory? Dragon Factory is a uh, collaboration of artists, but mm -hmm. everyone inputs their, uh, their artistry into it. But it was a surfboard factory, and I wanted to build an interactive surfboard factory to where we built some of the coolest surfboards mm -hmm. um, to where I could just play and be creative. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to incorporate other art forms. And then when I got done playing with surfboards, I like to move on to new things. Right. I knew eventually I wanted to move on to something else. Then we converted the rooms over, right. which you see now when you see the video. Those, each one of those rooms was actually a stage in the surfboard building process. And everything outside oh. was kind of the same. Right, so we knew we wanted to do a live recording, we knew we wanted people there, but the venue was just, we can do it in the backyard, we can do it in an open warehouse, and they got sound problems. So when we, when we played there, upstairs, yeah, this place is incredible. You have no idea. Yeah. When we left after that game, we were like, this place is incredible, I hope he lets us do it there. <laughs> and you can't manufacture what people yeah. are going to see on this video. Yeah. And they, they really don't, I think it's going to be a hit. Yeah, man. Because you can't manufacture yeah. that. It's got to be just one of those things where everything just comes to life. Mm -hmm. And so music was my other passion. And so we had bands play there all the time. Mm -hmm. Movie nights, uh, all underground stuff, right. kind of invite only, unannounced. Yeah, I remember when we played, you know, if you know, you know. And that was That's the coolest it. thing about it. Even That's our night, our night for this, we didn't tell anybody the address until they, the day of, actually. Yeah, and it adds to the nostalgia. Yeah, the yeah. whole effect was there. That's exactly. This video wouldn't look the same. I, I can't name another place which, that would have done this. To me, it's like it so much more, so right much there. more hype. Well, me, knowing that we were all there and it happened and it happened live. I know for, I know for me, but like actually in the studio, for me that was crazy. Most cases, you know, you at least can see the band or you mm -hmm. see the artist. Right. Mm -hmm. This was like literally we're downstairs. Yeah, y'all were up under us, and so mm -hmm. everything that we felt or could envision visually was just off of the audio, which is a whole nother, a whole nother thing. What I want to say is like, it's like it's one, it's, it's one thing to hear it, but to like see it and hear it, you you see the passion in everybody's eyes. Like, you feel it. Yeah, real tough. Yeah. No, that's real. You guys, kind of what I had in my head, mm -hmm. you took it to a whole nother level when you approached me about wanting to do, which I had never thought of, mm -hmm. doing an actual live, mm -hmm. you know, recorded. From an audience sitting around, right. I love that kind of stuff. I was just more so wanting to make sure that the energy was right, like between everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of like being that medium. Mm -hmm. but I was so dialed into the audio that night, I wasn't even aware we were videoing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mm -hmm. So to see it is like a major pleasant <laughs> surprise. I'm like, wow, okay, because <laughs> yeah. because we were so tuned in to yeah, making yeah. sure everything was going going to yeah, quote unquote yeah. old school tape yeah, the correct. proper way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We weren't, you know, I just wasn't focused on video, yeah. but the, to watch the to watch video that. aspect of it and the energy and the vibe. Him coming in, Blake had no idea what this was. I said, Blake, I need you to come record this thing. He couldn't hear nothing but Blake, horns. Blake, a, uh, a other He couldn't hear nothing but drums and horns. Yeah. So to get what he captured is just literally on the wind. With with the music that you're you you're seeing the music not only come through the instruments, but I can you can see it through each one of your bodies, mm -hmm. man. And I think mm -hmm. that's magic. We never held that.
Holy Ghost. 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 Holy I got a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but no, I got to like really listen uh, and play for real. Same because it's, it's some situations, bro, where I have to listen more than I'm playing. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's like it's not my crew. It's a different kind of vibe. Now I gotta listen to everybody else. Everybody, this guy might be playing over this guy. I'm, I'm used to the bass player being in this world, but this bass player is in this world. Right. You know that kind of thing. Or no bass. We ain't talking about no bass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We ain't talking about no bass. So like, I feel like it was really dope, bro. Like to come into a situation and be like, I know what I'm about to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a whole new wow. situation where I've never heard yeah. a job before. Yeah. I came and was like, okay, I know what to play. Yeah. Like to to y'all's music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It and then crazy. therefore, basically, I'm making y'all's music my own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Our yeah. music. It make, making it our music together as one. Y'all yeah, know this, like, first day I was sitting, second day, third day, I was like, yo, uh, what's, yeah, yeah, let's what, do this, you know what I'm saying, what's going on? And let's try this, let's try this, because it was like, I I just felt it, bro. Yeah, like, man. it was killing, bro. I, I appreciate, appreciate yeah. you, Paul, for hitting me up for it. So I know uh, the, the energy in this is something that we really wanted to capture, too. I think the whole thing right. in and of itself was full of excitement, mm -hmm. you know, because there was the unknown, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, first of all, the venue in and of itself, right. Right. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. I mean, you know, and then you add, you know, uh, between the wealth of knowledge between these two guys, um, with Mo and, and, and Seb, man, bringing that into the room, um, and then with talent, in, talented individuals as, as yourself. I mean, to be honest, I was with y'all like a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? So for me, you asked me like, what was the hype? And it was it was everything. I've known Paul since college, I mean, beyond this, since high school. I've known Busy, I think, since middle school, bro. Like, I've known Lou since high school. Your so. mentor, bro. <laughs> you know what? Your mentor. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the mentor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Luke was my freaking mentor in high school. Wow. Yeah. I think he hated me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and it was just, it was that process. And I remember when I come to college and Paul said, like, hey, you know, we're doing Let's Ride at Nebraska. And I did like a gig with you guys a couple of times before. Yeah, way back then. And uh, so it on was- On Tinder. Yeah, on Tinder. Yeah, actually, yeah, the first time, as soon as Jacinto came after we made this album, he joined us, he showed up with his Tinder case. I completely neglected to tell him he's playing keys. Oh, wow, <laughs> because wow, wow. he's mainly a Tinder player. He's incredible. Yeah. So he's like, yeah, Brass Man, I'm playing Tinder. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then he comes like, oh, snap, bro, I didn't even tell you you're playing keys. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, you need to know all the chords. Yeah, you need right. to know the chords. He's <laughs> 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 killing on keys. Even I'm more, here to listen. He's <laughs> killing on keys. I mean, you know, a lot of, a lot of y'all been just like family, man. It's, it's, you know, I'm, I love Jacksonville, and it's, it's been kind of tricky here and there. We're going through, you know, just everything that happened these past couple of years. My dad passed away, and yeah. a lot of different things happened. Pretty emotional for us. You know, he, he, Luke's been there for me. You know, all y'all you know, all need to meet and do the yeah. city and a lot of different things. And I just want to say, you know, it's been a pleasure. You know? yeah. <laughs> I, honestly, y'all y'all like my brothers, man. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, I, I really appreciate it. That's what's up, yo. That's right. we're, we're so young, um, and, like, the passion and the seriousness, like it's, it, yeah. it is, it is hard to find that, mm -hmm. and and the amount, like again, like we we've all got stuff going on, we've all trying to make money, you know. And now now we're here, like you know, COVID nineteen, like yeah. we got we got to work. We're still here. The bank like, breaker. Oh. Like all these here, things, though. and we're, we're still, still here. here. Yeah, oh, come on, right. man. Right. Right. Hey, we're still here, bro. That's right. it, man. That's that's all. Hey, man, give it up.
Down the hall. Bro, too. Dude, you had me going dumb, bro. Uh, I couldn't I couldn't do it, bro. <laughs> I was in the, I was about to lose it, bro. I was about to throw my guitar on the floor no cap, bro. Yeah, four yeah, more songs to go, my brother. Bro. Mm -hmm. And now, really, uh, how how annoying was Paul? <laughs> no, because the reality is, I mean, although, you know, I don't know if I would be considered the primary mix or anything, but it was a collective effort, like and I think those that's where the best mixes are come yeah. out of versus yeah. just one person in the lab creating when you add some salt, some pepper, mm -hmm. a little cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, maybe a little dab of hot sauce here and there. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's when you get the best best combination of flavor. Uh, I played the tuba. That's as much as you need to know, I guess. Okay. Okay. Clem was like, Clem was my like A-OK. Like when, when, when we, the first day I was like, regardless on how everybody else sounds, I'm gonna have fun because Clem is my A-OK. <laughs> 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 like, you know, bro, we were in <laughs> rehearsals, like yeah, making my, stuff up before we were starting the song, bro. Like we just in there yeah. just funking stuff. Yeah. Bro, I'm in there like, yeah. Oh man, I'm already in the band. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I'm a classical tuba player. It's how I like to classify myself. And uh, this is very unlike anything else I've done, uh, which is the fun part about it. I mean, I'm not, is it my favorite thing to do? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> like Rod, right? Like yeah. you said, for example, all of that came together right there at Paul's house, bro. We knew it was going to be Rod. We knew we wanted some atmospheric movie type intro. Paul decided two days before <laughs> the session <laughs> that uh, he wanted a song. <laughs> he wanted a little intro track that sounded like some anime stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the intro and track? I, I, there was no... Ass, I'm sure D, as soon as I told D about this, he was looking at me like, I'm good. <laughs> it's beautiful. He made... Did. He did. He looked like... Because I didn't have... I, did I just too. knew you said something horribly... The inspiration. Like, ballady. Yeah. Or, like it's building into yeah. something. And like I gave him a couple pieces. And he looked at me like, which one we do? <laughs> and he got in the room, got, we were doing Logic at the time, right? Got in Logic and I let him look. And that whole intro, whole R is this guy, just Written. genius. Oh man, you know it's crazy. I made that when I first got an iPhone. And I put it, it was. Last year. Yeah, last year. He's a new beat. <laughs> <laughs> and it was crazy because, it was crazy because uh, that was something I made on my garage band. And it's funny because the, the rhythm that they played is the actual rhythm that I had in there, but they didn't hear the rhythm that I played. They just heard the bass line. You know what I'm saying? They just heard like the premise of the track. So the way I came up with it, I was already, I was thinking like. I knew it. Like, I was thinking like a swing type situation. Yeah. But then the way they kind of just put like that little, like, oh, yeah, that, like that little folk type yeah. thing to it. So the day before, uh, actually, two days before we came to rehearsal, and this didn't exist. We practiced the other song, and I was like, "Yo, look, we gotta go home. You know, we gotta write something out, and we'll just bring you guys back to work." And then Doogie was like, "Why don't we just vibe?" And I'm never gonna say no to that, right? I think Doogie's one of the ones who really pushed us to do it in that rehearsal with Blunt. Remember? Yeah. Because I was like, "Man, we just need to meet later and figure something out." And you're yeah. like, "No, let's vibe." I think it was Ride, honestly, kind of like because I seen them all separately. But when Rye came, when y'all see it, it's going to be bananas. Yeah. It's just like, here's the name of the band. That's right. That's right. That's right. I get it. <laughs>
Let's just not call it train wreck because it's not. Uh, I mean, we could call it train wreck. But, you know, just like everything else. Sweet, bro. Train wreck was kind of sweet, though. Just like everything else. Because we can have a moment. Because we can have a moment where we.